Good morning, YTPC. Northeast Paper UK here. Well, following on from yesterday's GLP's Key Largo, today I thought I would go with something a little bit special. And that is the Cornell and Deal Small Batch Sans Polcro, or Sans Sepulcro, however, however it's pronounced. Um, this is one of the newer tins that was done recently. Um, I was lucky enough to get a tin last year from Buckeye Piper. And I fell in love with it straight away. Um, I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, this has obviously got some of the dark fired leaf from Italy, from the Sans Polcro region. And obviously it's mixed with, um, I think it's not, yeah, North Carolina red leaf. Now, it does smell amazing in the tin. So, pop it open and have a sniff. You do get the faint whiffs of sort of like the hail bale, but it's not as sort of pungent as say, uh, just a plain ordinary tobacco. I mean, they do say the sort of citrus notes in there, and I, I do pick it up, I have to be honest. But it just looks absolutely amazing. So, yeah, this is one of those ones that, you know, when you see it available, you get it. And stuff like this, I'm a bit of a squirrel. I like to sort of stock them away and don't really want to open them. Which is a sad thing, really, because obviously that's what the whole thing is about so yep yeah, I am sacrificing a tin I've popped it open so that I can do this video in this cigar blend range of tobaccos and the sad thing is I know I'm just going to blaze through it hey ho so here we go Again, when you smoke a cigar blend, you automatically think that you're going to get that typical cigar aroma, but you don't. I mean, even when I smoke actual cigar stubs in my pipe, I still struggle to get that actual cigar smell. So it's strange, but uh, yeah, you're not getting it through that. You're not getting it through the room nose. Again, really tickly on the retro hail. I think if I was to do a full blown retro hail on this, it will be an eye water. Eh? Getting a little peppery aftertaste, but not as strong as the key Lago. But then I have just started this, so there's plenty of time for that yet. If I get any chocolatey notes from the coffee. No, I'm not getting that chocolatey hint when I have a drink of the coffee. This is definitely more mellow than the Key Largo.
and it's definitely got that sort of little not as peppery as the key Largo, but it has got a little something there on the aftertaste. I'm getting that bitter almond taste, which I do tend to get from cigars and plain Virginias as well. I'm not getting the chocolate taste like I did with the Key Largo, but it's more of a definite sort of almonds, that hazelnut taste to it. Just that little bit sort of more harsh and bitter taste to it. I don't know if it's me or what, but I don't know, it doesn't. I'm sure the one I had last year tasted a lot sweeter than this. This has got a little bit more of a bitter kick to it. I'll have to go back and review my videos when I smoked this last year, but I don't know. There's something there that I'm not sure about. I'm going to pause and get through more of this bowl and um, we'll see how we get on with it. Hello again. Well, I'm over half a bowl in now and first bitterness is gone now so I'm I'm going to blame using the torch lighter on that because I think I probably I probably charred the tobacco too much it's probably been a bit too much of a harsh light on this actually um, and also I've given the stem a few good passes with some pipe cleaners as well um, over the last half bowl and it's starting to come through a bit sweeter now Still getting that little bit of a a slight bitter kick. Um, so I, I was going to scratch this video and not bother. But what I may do is do a two-parter. I'll do this as the, sort of the first one. And then what I might do is I might try it in my other dedicated cigar pipe, which is the Morgan Bones. And see how I get on with it in sort of a, a smaller bowl, if you like. But uh, yeah, it is coming through a lot better. So 
certainly improved on the retro hail. But I'm still sort of getting that almond walnut sort of slightly bitter taste coming through. Room note, I'm getting the room note coming through a lot now as well, and it's really pleasant. Again, I don't think this is a one that you would smoke around sort of somebody who doesn't like pipes. But uh, it's not too in your face. A little bit subtle, and obviously a lot better than chewing away on a big fat Cuban cigar. For me, I don't think coffee complements this tobacco as nicely as it did with the Key Largo. Like I say, when I was drinking the coffee with the Key Largo, I was getting sort of like that cocoa chocolatey taste coming through, but with this, it's not working. I think because this has got a slightly bitter tinge to it, um, if you're not having anything alcohol with it, then certainly maybe it's a sweet tea or maybe like a, a soft drink, Dr. Pepper or something like that, something that's got a little bit of a, a nice sweetness to it. Or for me, I think a nice tot of rum would probably go really well with this and I'll probably do that on the next one. A lot nicer on the retro hill. I know it does state on the tin that you get sort of citrus notes, etc. I get it slightly from the tin, um, but again, I think you do tend to get that from sort of um, plain tobacco anyway. But for me, it's not coming through in the smoke. I know everybody's not the same. I'm pretty sure somebody who's got a bit bit of a better nose than me would maybe pick up on that. But for me, it's definitely got that nutty, almondy, walnut taste to it. So again, I think you definitely need something sweet with this, just to take the edge off. I remember, I think one of the first times I smoked this, it may have been on a live, and I smoked a Toscano cigar for the first time. Because I think is it the Toscanos that are made from the Sans Polcro tobaccos? I'll have to look into it. Um, now I do have, I've got two gifted to us by Kim. 
and I've still got one left. But I do remember that when I smoked half of that after the during the during the video, um, I had a bowl of this afterwards, and this came through really, really sweet and florally. So it might be interesting trying that again, actually, because like I say, I've still got um, the one I have. It's the classical, and so. Just might be worth trying that one on the next one. So it might be interesting doing half the video with the Toscano. Now when I'm finished, pause, switch over, get a bowl of this and see what we think but again from memory this does not seem like the same one that I got last year could be the pipe I'm smoking it in but uh, yeah there's definitely something different about it Well, I'm going to leave the video there. Um, little bit of a disappointing first try. I mean, I'm taking in factors as well that it should be first smoke of the day. It could be this pipe could do with a good clean, which I'm going to do when I finish this. And um, yeah. We'll see how he scores. Well, thank you for watching. Sorry, it's a bit of a long one. And um, yeah, like I say, I'll probably do another one to add on to this. Um, I may do a, a cigar review later on today. I do have that Camacho barrel aged cigar that I'm really eager to try. So I might have that one this afternoon after dinner. And then possibly tomorrow I'll do the second half of this Sans Polco video and we'll see how it goes. So enjoy your Sunday. As always, I hope you're safe, I hope you're well, I hope you're happy, enjoy the ball, and catch you on the next one. Bye for now.